All right, now let's begin our dissection. This cut must happen almost immediately from removing the crayfish from ice. You do not want to idle too long. The first thing you're going to do is sex your specimen. I noticed the modified swimmerettes here, so I can tell that this is going to be a male. The next thing I want to do is make a small shallow incision between the abdomen and the cephalothorax. You might notice some twitching. From here on, we're going to completely remove the abdomen from the cephalothorax. We're going to set this aside. We always want to keep the crayfish anterior side up so that any digestive juices do not damage any internal structures. From here on out, we're going to find that cervical groove, follow it all the way down the mandible, and there should be a nice little spot. I remove the Kelly pads. There should be a nice little spot where your scissors should slip up just underneath the carapace. It's about right here. There should be no resistance. Make your first snip. Be careful with the walking legs because we'll need those later. And with your scissors always directed up, cut along the cervical groove. Try to work as quickly as you can. But be careful not to jut your scissors inwards. Always up. The reason we cut along this area is because the cervical groove provides a nice weak point along the carapace. You know, flip the crayfish ventral side up, grab the head with one of your hands, the thorax with the other, and you are going to pull down and out. Down and out. All right. You should be able to see the heart beating and we're going to immediately place this in saline solution. The head I'm going to place in a petri dish and I'm going to squirt some saline solution. We'll now observe this underneath the stereoscope, the dissection microscope, to look at the internal structures. We'll set aside the external anatomy for later. All right, now that we've examined the internal structure inside the head, we're going to go ahead and focus more on the internal structures in the thoracic region. All right, so we removed our cavity from the saline solution, and I'm going to look at this underneath the dissection microscope, see if I can still see the heart beating. Next thing I want to look at are the gills. The gills are housed in the thoracic cavity underneath the carapace. So to get to that, we're going to use our scissors. And on the pot posterior side, we're going to remove the third walking leg entirely. This allows us an entryway underneath the carapace. Again, your scissors should slide just so 
without any resistance. Make sure your scissors are always pointed up as you make the first cut and as you continue around. We don't want to cut off the legs yet. All right, we're going to cut a window by going up and then to the side. This flap here. Removing the carapace, we can now see the gills. Remove the legs you'll notice that the gills will move right along with it. Essentially, any kind of walking motion allows a crayfish to breathe. The next thing we're going to do is remove a walking leg with the gill intact and observe it in the dissection microscope. To do that, go ahead and cut underneath the walking leg. and gently oops, pull. It should detach very easily. If it doesn't, make sure your cuts are thorough. All right. We'll go ahead and put this in a petri dish and observe it. We'll go ahead and put this aside and bring back the abdomen that we had set aside from earlier. All right, notice the abdomen is segmented. Again, and external structures that you should know, the telson, the uropods. These are what the modified swimmerettes look like. They're very tough. Again, symbolizes that's a male. We'll notice the swimmerettes and the anus. All right, and that concludes it. When you're done, go ahead and gather up all the components of your cray in the petri dish that you use and dispose of it in the trash inside the fume hood. Do not throw these markers away. Rinse out your dissection equipment and tools and place them by the sink to dry.